accidentally pressed the wrong button and stopped streaming. <laughs> Where was I? Yeah. Oh, it's the first time in a while that I've been randomly interrupted through my own fault. Usually it's because the internet gets randomly disconnected because of the stupid ISP. I've got an auto update system which doesn't allow for a user intervention. So shit gets knocked off and I can't stop it. Yeah, that's all Mark 1 part. I think I might actually be done with this now. Um, state... Uh... Oh yeah, let's just double check here. So that's Mark 1, that's Mark 4, and that's Mark 2. So yeah, I remember, I can remember distinctly that's like the plastic line, these were done, and then this is the rubber, so it's Mark 3. Um, I was going to go double check the math though. Because I've spent that much time faffing around on the fuse modular frame belting and, and you know being social for a change uh lost track of what i was actually covering okay, so 7.0 65 65 minus 2 plus 3.75 divided by 3.75 75 so yeah that's mark three belts that's fine okay so we're going to check on stator okay, so that needs a mark five belt on the copper ingots but it's that close to a mark four capacity it's going to be worth well see probably going to be worth it to upgrade it to a mark 4 line except i don't have enough parts i can handcraft some but that's an option uh but i want to check uh the belt speeds needed for ethereum stator we got 122.56875 minus 5 plus 8 divided by 8 times by 60 divided by 60 times by 12 because I've been doing this really quickwire math that many times I've memorized the, the numbers for quickwire production right so mark 3 for Octarium mark 4 for That's where we need actually uh, handcraft it. So let's park a button do that for a while. So it's because the uh, production levels are going to be that low that I won't actually have a decent amount um, cutted up in the warehouse.
I'm just going to take a brief break from doing that here. Um, I want to go park we bought near the manufacturer. Because it being four o'clock in the morning, uh, I really should be going to bed. Um, I mean, I've got a vague recollection, it's the weekend, so it would kind of moot anyway. But, you know, what with being made redundant, uh, one's sleep cycle has been massively interfered with. So, fun, fun. Do we have any? We, yeah, there's only eight in there. I'll just leave them as is. Bloop. Milestone reach. Improved pipelines and pumps can now be constructed, capable of handling. I can leave the trains as is because they don't give us enough benefit. For better vertical transfer, um, I need to actually package, oh I need to start making some fuel and packaging it. Just so I can get the, the three inventory <laughs> slots pretty much. Uh, just because I don't really use the, um, the jet map. And then obviously that needs um, setting up at some point as well. But yeah, that's all the research done. For uh, a bit So I'm just going to leave that there as a starter factory. Oh, so I think it's starter factory. I'm going to leave this here as a temporary factory for the time being. Um, just because, like, oh, it's a complete production line. Whereas the facility, yeah, it has the belts going in. But that stuff over there is bottlenecked. I mean, like, this will be bottlenecked because of, like, the coal supply. Uh, on the being a Mark 1 belt and you know it's, it's sharing resources with like three separate things so you've got the spur line going off to the ingot facility which isn't being consumed at the moment you've got the space elevator parts temporary factory which really needs to be swapped back to the style framework And then you've got the temporary factory here. So... Yeah. Actually, uh, that's a thought. Because, because it is 4 o'clock, I'm going to see... Can I get what I need to get done with the limited amount of belt, uh, belt parts I've just made? Yeah, Mark Three for here we go. Oh, that was the stator side, wasn't it? It's further evidence that I should be heading off. Let me short-term memory is that frazzled. I messed that up. Yeah, that's what he meant to be Mark Three. Yeah, so sure. Mark Three for um, that. 
that's Mark IV for the copper ingot. Because it needs like 490. Even though the entire production line isn't actually built. Because I don't have the power! Although now that I've got the Mark II pipelines, uh, I can expand that at some point over the weekend or next week. Was I updating the wrong belt? I was updating the wrong belt. Oh no, that belt needs to be Mark 4 as well. This bike's going to be quicker to pop along and pick them up from the storage bin.
Who's this lower one here that needs to be uh, Mark IV? We'll get that put into the pink. Uh, state, uh, has, uh, that. Oh, I thought the reference has state, uh, that. There we go. Uh, pop the sheet for rota. Also, uh, the number of mortars heading for turbo mortar as well. I need to check on that. I'm going to have to leave myself a reminder to get the full lower viaduct updated. So it's not bottlenecked by having uh, Mark 3s in the middle of it. Uh, yeah, that's good for Mark 3. And then that only needs to be Mark 1. I'm just going in this the other direction for a bit. I'm immensely confused. So yeah, that's fine as Mark III, but the uh dueling unit mortar needs to be Mark I. It's not to waste parts. Crystal Oscillator. Right, so Crystal Oscillator needs Mark IV worth of cable. Is missing as a boat it's signposted for process quartz, not raw quartz. I should also do the, the like the numbers for rubber. Five point eight five minus one. Uh, just lost later. Plus eight five. Red by one point eight seven five times thirteen point one five. So Mark three should be fine for 
Robert Barney put a Mark IV in on the cable. Because the quarter's coming in on a completely different divide up, so that one doesn't matter. Oh, AI limited though. Yeah. Uh, that is not being produced over there, it's being produced up there, so. Yeah. Pain ignored. So that should be the top one. Down there. Yes, yeah, so that's got to be upgraded to Mark IV. Obviously, I don't have parts for it. So, you know, meh. But we do have, well, we should. Yeah. Should have the parts to update. Um, this thing. There we go. Yeah, the rivers. Um, fine with Mark Three. I'll leave the holes in, that'll prompt us to remember, uh, well either I'll completely forget or I'll prompt us to remember that I was updating. Um, <sighs> belt lines and run out of parts. But, uh, with that yawn, I think I'm going to err on the side of caution, leave myself a little reminder. Viaduct uh, needs mark for belt adjustments. Not enough to do print plus viaduct. Uh, went from right to left, finished off last stream at Crystal Oscillator. I will save that. And that's going to be it for tonight. So, um, that's an extra 26 minutes on the end of, like, the previous VOD. Um, just because I managed to hit the stop streaming button. Uh, so, yeah. About a five and a half hour stream tonight. Uh... I am an electing Skyward Sword, but I'm not in the mood to play it. So there's that to catch up on. And we still got the Human Warlock playthrough of Balls Gate 3 to do. Um, so I'll see how I'm feeling in the morning. Uh, as to what I'll be streaming. So that's going to be off and out. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.